Let's take a look at a um, software called OnCloud. It's a server-based software, so you have to have a server uh, with OnCloud installed on it. And uh, now install the client on a Windows PC. Open up a browser and search for OnCloud clients, something like OnCloud clients and uh, <clears throat> it's a uh, url is url is uh, oncloud.org slash install and here you have mobile clients for your phone and desktop clients for your pc and this is a windows 8 okay just started to download this 37 megabyte file which i happen to have in my downloads folder So you don't have to wait. Okay, and um, after clicking next, be sure to uncheck the desktop shortcut because it automatically starts. You don't have to <coughs> don't have to have an icon on your desktop and install install. It's a very small software. It's, it's just a client for the on cloud server. It's ready and starts. And here you have to input your server's uh, URL, then your username and your password, and click next. Now I would like to skip the folder configuration, and this is the <coughs> main window of the uh, client software, and here you have an icon which is a cloud icon and now let's set up the folders so we have to pair up local folders with remote folders okay now select the local folder now I would like to synchronize my downloads folder select it and let's keep the default alias Next, and I have to select the remote folder on the server. It's the same, it's downloads. Next, and no subfolders. Okay, add folder. It's just begin to synchronize. Oh, it's ready. So now I have the same files in the in my local downloads folder as uh, in my remote folder on the server. Okay, so let's another folder. Let's add another folder. Now let's synchronize my OnCloud folder also. Next, uh, with this folder. Okay. Oh, and it has, as you can see, uh, 47 megabytes of file. So and it downloads it right away, so it synchronizes my local on cloud folder with this remote folder which I've just chosen. Okay, we don't have to <coughs> wait till it finishes. We can close it. And now if I open my on cloud folder, it it's starting to contain the files from the server and if I create a file here or copy a file here that uh, gets synchronized right away to the server okay, let's pause it and resume how okay, can everything's just synchronized I think it's an image oh and Windows 8 just installs an image viewer and 
this is an audio file. Yes, it plays right Please away. Your access code followed by the pound key. Oh, let's just stop this <laughs> and maybe stop the other one. I'm not <laughs> I'm not a Windows 8 user, so I don't know how, how it works. Um, and that's it. So the other thing is like, uh, how do I send an, a huge file in an email? So let's say I'd like to uh, send this recording, but I wouldn't like to attach it into an email, which gets, uh, so then in case an email gets huge because it contains a huge file and then just right click uh, on the file's name and then click share with downcloud and okay and here i get a link I click copy link you can even protect it with a password without a password everyone can download it who has the link and let's take a look at it and here we have it uh, this is the big download button so if I click this, it gets downloaded. Let's say save. Okay, it's just downloaded. And my downloads folder is synchronized with the server. So <laughs> I should have this file twice because uh, OnCloud should uh, upload, oops, should upload it. Yes, it's uploading. So this uh, audio file is in this folder and in my downloads folder also. So it's it's that easy to <coughs> share a file or send a file. And if you have a folder in OnCloud, let's say um, let's say I create a folder here, new one. Uh, and I move these two images into this folder. Then it's possible to share a wall folder with all files in it. So share it down cloud. Copy the link. And then open a browser. And let's take a look at the shared folder. So this way you don't have to upload anything when you're attaching to an email. You just get a <coughs> link to a file or a whole folder and the recipient can download it for 10 days or as many days <coughs> as you set it uh, in the share box or share window. So that's it. It's so easy to uh, share and send files with download. Goodbye.